Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperatures and humidity across the deep south have risen over the last 24 hours. I mean, you've got 66 degrees in Atlanta, 68 degrees in Sarasota. Not much of a difference even all the way back to Dallas. You've got 65 and as far to the east as Charlotte, you've got 64 degrees. So dew points in the 60s, pretty prevalent across the region. If you look at uh, the, uh, the temperatures currently, 71 degrees in Tampa. We've got 69 degrees in Naples, 65 degrees in Melbourne. Got some 50s to the north in the uh, northern tier up around uh, Jacksonville and Gainesville and back through Tallahassee. But generally speaking in our area, <coughs> excuse me, we're looking at the mid 60s most everywhere in inland area, 64, Arcadia, 65. And, watch you. and then you get a little closer to the coast and you've got a little bit warmer temperatures, 71 degrees Boca Grande, 71 in Venice, and uh, Bradenton comes in at 68. The cloud cover has helped keep our temperatures up a little bit during the overnight. Also, the, the little bit of um, moisture increase, a dew point now in 63, has also helped keep our nighttime temperatures a little warmer. You got moisture in the air. It doesn't release its heat quite so efficiently or effectively. And so consequently, you start off the mornings with a little bit warmer. 68 downtown Sarasota. We have a pressure coming in that's still high. So high pressure ridge is still the dominant influence on our weather. But the direction of the winds has changed, and so that has allowed some moisture to return at lower levels. And aloft as well, you can see that with a satellite view of the cloud streaming up from the, uh, from the uh, southernmost sections of the warmer Gulf waters, the beginnings of the loop current here. And we're seeing some of those clouds kind of smear their cloud cover into our neck of the woods with some uh, alto cumulus clouds. Clouds will be the major problem for any kind of a launch delay today at the Kennedy Space Center, those uh, cumulus clouds that are building across that region by around 11 o'clock. We'll see. I think they'll be okay. I don't think they'll have any thunderstorm activity. They certainly will be below the wind threshold. The things look pretty good for them. As far as our region goes, not a drop of rain falling currently. Don't expect to see any under those clouds till later this afternoon. Late this afternoon, maybe drive time home this evening. Few scattered showers to the north of us, but still the airport hubs of Atlanta, Raleigh, Durham, and Charlotte look a okay. Forecast for today looks good, but with that increased moisture comes a little bit of a rain chance. We'll put it at about 20%, 30% for Charlotte Harbor and maybe Venice South. Otherwise, the best chance of rain in the seven days ahead will be next Monday.